of divine, all loves excelling, joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us your humble dwelling, all your faithful mercies crown. Jesus, source of all compassion, love unbounded, love all pure, visit us with your salvation. Let your love in us come endure. As for me, in justice I shall behold your face, I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Mass for the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to cele celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, words in, what in what I have done and what I have failed to do. do. Through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord, mercy. have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, praise we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you. you. We give we you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens, the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and, bre and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will achieving the end for which I sent it, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. Good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You've prepared the grain. 
falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. Thus have you prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. The seed that the falls, seed that on, falls good, on good, good ground, ground will yield, will yield a, fruitful a fruitful harvest. harvest. You have crowned the year with your bounty, and your paths overflow with a rich harvest, until the meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing close the hills. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. The fields are garmented with flocks, and the valleys blanketed with grain. They shout and sing for joy. The seed, seed that, that falls, falls on, on good ground, ground will, will yield, yield a fruitful, a fruitful harvest. harvest. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, to you o Lord. Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Praise Lord, to Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Have you ever felt frustrated because someone you love doesn't believe in Jesus or has fallen away from the faith? Or you've tried over and over and over again telling them about Jesus and the church and nothing ever seems to work? Be at peace. Notice how the Lord tells us that not everyone will believe. It all depends on the soil. And frankly, for many people, they have soil that's rough. It's not good for bearing fruit. So what can we do? We can pray. 
Now you might say, Father, I pray every day that they get converted or come back to the faith. If only they believe before I die, I would be greatly satisfied. But I want to encourage you to shift your prayer just a little. Jesus, please till the soil of their heart so that when they hear the gospel, maybe not by me, when they hear the gospel, they would believe. And if it happens after I die, then may it bear a hundredfold for generations to come. What a prayer! Then, whether we see conversion or not, we can be confident God will answer our prayer and we can die a peaceful death. What a gift. So let's, let's say that prayer together. Jesus, please till the soil of the heart of, and now say the person's name, so that when they hear the gospel, they would believe. And if it happens after I die, then may it bear a hundredfold for generations to come. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker Peter of heaven and earth, and earth, of all of things, things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, believe I believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, only the only begotten Son, Son of God, God born, born of the, the Father before all ages. God, God from God, God light, light from light, light true God, God from true God, God begotten, begotten not made, made consubstantial with, with the Father. Through, through him all things, things were made. made. For, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the, and by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate, incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became, became man. man. For our For sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven and is seated at the right, right hand of the Father. Father. He will come, come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father, Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has who spoken through the prophets. prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic Church. church. I, I confess, confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and to the life of the world to come. Amen. Now, trusting in the goodness of our Heavenly Father, we present to Him our prayers of petition. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop David Malloy, and all church leaders, that they would be graced with an ever deeper love of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our president and all civil leaders, that they would be led to make decisions keeping in mind the dignity of all human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for an end to the coronavirus, and for perseverance and hope for all those on the front lines, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and sacramental marriages, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for the holy souls in purgatory, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Good, and, good and gracious Father, we ask that you would hear and answer these our prayers that we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, We sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on, on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us, Give us this day, day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy, Have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Grant, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you, you should, should enter into my roof, roof but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. The sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her young. By your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. My Jesus, I believe that you are present 
in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand as a shelter for all who will call on his name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Should the Lord ever leave you, could the Lord forget his love? Though a mother forsake her child, he will not abandon you. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand as a shelter for all who will call on his name sing the praise and the glory